Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Rich and Lux. So today I wanted to share with you a very, very exciting unboxing. Well, for me at least, this is my first ever Hermes unboxing. Well, not technically first because I had an unboxing after Christmas, which, you know, I had, I bought a bar of soap. So that was my real first purchase but today i'm gonna share my first leather goods unboxing so here it is Ta -da! when i got this it's just like i don't know it's just a different feeling i don't know if you've had that different feeling as well when you guys had your first hermes purchase but yeah it was just like a giddy a happy feeling and just joy <laughs> pretty much yeah so so happy to share this with you guys and box it with you so if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so that we could enjoy more unboxings together more luxury hauls but my channel is mostly about anything luxury. If you are into luxury, finer things in life, and all the comforts of life, then you can subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, I want to unbox this new... Chanel. Oh no, not Chanel, sorry. I actually opened this up now, so my ribbon is a little... This is not how it was done before, but this is so pretty with the brown. I don't know how they call this ribbon. Lubok ribbon? I don't know. They call it something, but yeah. So I'm gonna unbox it again with you. And it's just so luxurious opening this orange box. But here you go. So just wanted to share with you too how I was able to connect with an SA. First, I just called the store and left a message because nobody picked up, so I just left a message and then called me back. And then we started communicating through text and that's how I was able to get an SA, which is pretty good. We just happened to be at that mall, South Coast Plaza, and we were there just to look for a gift for my daughter. And I just texted him, hey, do you happen to be in store right now? Because I am here at the mall. And he said, oh yes, I'm here. And do I have to make an appointment to come into the store? And he said, yes, but I think I can squeeze you in is what he said. So I just texted him. I am looking for these pieces. So at least when I get there, he's already ready for them because I don't want to have other people wait too, too long but luckily there was not a line when i went to the store unlike the chanel store was like always a big line and the louis vuitton store was always a big line but this is a breath of fresh air there was not much of a line there so i was glad that we got in right away the security said do you have an appointment uh yeah i'm supposed to see my sa and he was very accommodating this is i told him that never had anything from hermes before so he was very nice and accommodating i didn't feel intimidated as like other stores are like the san laurent store there they're very kind of snobbish but the hermes store they were like really nice yeah he was really nice and he said he was trying to give me points on the item what should i get things like that and he was like yeah if you want you can you know look around the store so we did but we didn't want to like stay long because you know people there were like a couple of people i think waiting outside and we just we wanted to be mindful of others waiting so it was just kind of a quick thing because i already knew what i wanted and yeah so the first experience was nice it was just like chill and relaxed and i was just in my you know jeans and button down shirt other people there though that were shopping were like all in their fur coats and really dressed well but me i was just in casual you know i'm i'm very casual anyways but yeah so i didn't feel any like the service being oh some people experience sometimes they have bad experience but i really had a good experience there so without further ado and without further chit chat i just wanted to show you 
my first piece with Hermes. Ta-da! You probably know what it is already. There was no tissue or anything. It's just the dust bags for these two. And I prob you probably know what it is. They are the ever famous Oran sandals in gold. So I'm very, very happy that I got this already. Oh, what is this? Well, there's a little bit of a... I don't know what that part is, but it's fine. You could really tell the luxury of the leather and the sole here. It's just luxe. That's all I can say. And the leather and the craftsmanship is so uh, perfect. Really, really nice. The details of the stitching, it's so perfect. So yeah, and the smell of the leather. I'm so happy that I got this. And I just recently unboxed my first ever luxury sandal, which is the Dior Doe Slides, which I bought online. But it's always good to actually try on shoe pieces. That's what I think because sometimes you're this size, because I'm usually at 37 and a half, but my essay was saying you should size up. So I did. So I took the size 38 right here. And if it's perfect, I know I've heard that people, uh, this one gave them blisters the first couple of uses but we'll see um you know with the leather you have to i think break them in and i would probably do a comparison with my dior duet slides but i like this because it's just so low key and unlike you know the dior it's like just blatantly out there <laughs> but i love i love it that way too and this one I just like because it's so neutral that you can pair it with a lot of outfits or jeans or you know dress down dress up kind of but yeah so I'm so happy that I got the item and like with all the luxury lovers out there luxury enthusiasts I believe everyone has this in their collection right this actually marks off I don't know number six off of my luxury board manifest vision board wish list that that I made it's actually my second video yeah I think this is probably yeah seven already checked off of that vision board which is kind of like my ultimate vision board luxury vision board so I'm so happy that I'm getting to almost checking off I think half of that so that's why I believe so much in the power of manifestation and vision board if you guys are into doing vision boards or manifestations the universe does conspire to give those things to you. I know these are all just material things, but in all aspects, if we put things out there in the universe, it will conspire to give it to you. Like, you know, like what God said, um, just ask and you shall receive. So yeah, I believe in that. So yeah, vision board manifest and here they are. I think that's the power of the vision board is because when you see it, you have the energy to just kind of, kind of like focus on getting the ones on those uh, vision boards. So so yeah, so it's it's very powerful and I believe in that energy right there. So I'm getting off tangent here, but yeah, I'm so happy that I got this first piece with Hermes. I don't know if this is gonna start with my journey with Hermes. I know uh, there's been a lot of talk, like I don't know if you hear uh, Fashionably Amy and Cat L. They've had these two live shows recently on how they were sharing their journey through Hermes with, you know, getting their beloved Birkins and Kellys. So I'm not sure yet. I think I'm just gonna like take it like, you know, not buying just because I want to get a bag like what Cat said, the, one of the YouTube on that live show where she says she was just buying because she loved the items not because she, with, not with the intention of oh you know I'm getting the bag and the Birkin so in order for me to get there is for me to they call it pre-spend and then the one-to-one -one ratio type of thing so I don't know if I'm gonna get there but yeah I just I just like this I just that's why I got it because I see so many people wearing it and loving it they say it's one of the most comfortable sandals they've had so I'm so glad but now with luxury I want to try out like a little bit more of the classic sandals but yeah I'm glad that I got this piece which is just 
unbelievable. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this Hermes journey. Uh, you know, how you have to spend so much money before you actually get your profited Birkin bag or Kelly bags. I mean, if I get lucky, then yeah. But I think that's what I'm just gonna do. It's just gonna go with the flow. Get the stuff that I like rather than expect something in return and then be disappointed. And then hopefully travel restrictions will ease out soon and we'll be able to go to Paris and maybe try our luck over there rather than spend a lot of money, right? So I like what Amy said in that live Hermes show. I'll, I'll link the show uh, in the description below. But what she said, like instead of buying like double the price from resellers, she'd rather go to Paris and take her chances there and spend, you know, the hotel or airfare and get that and take the chance of getting a Birkin there or a Kelly. So just going to Paris by itself is a reward in itself. So I think that's what I'm kind of going to do too. I'm not going to be pressured to maybe buying all these things from Hermes just so I can get a nice Birkin. But I'll just, you know, go with the flow. If I get lucky, then I get lucky. But yeah, but we all dream of that very elusive bag, right? Those two, three holy grail bags of luxury enthusiasts. So yeah, well, thank you for watching and hopefully we could grow in this journey together. Hopefully you can subscribe and watch more of my videos. Thank you and see you again soon. Bye!